if you're looking for like an infrastructure kind of play, I don't know who would be a better business than Martin Marietta. And there's several reasons why. So first, at the very basic level, they are just concrete. You know, they make concrete and asphalt. And so that doesn't sound very exciting. And it sounds like it could be very easily competed away because there's no brand names, right? Or like nobody really cares what, what concrete goes in as long as it goes in. But the issue with those two things is that they're very, very heavy. And so the biggest cost is to get those things moved around. And so what a company like Martin Marietta does is they mine the materials that make that concrete and asphalt, and then they will have those be close to where it needs to go. So whether that's paving a new highway or you know, making a new s- sidewalk, whatever it is, being close to those things gives them a competitive advantage. Secondly, you have to have certain government approvals to enter certain mines. So once they have a mine locked up, it's very hard for somebody to kind of replicate that. And so by having lots of locations and being a leader in that, you have a good moat against other competitors once you are established. And so they are one of the two that are big in their industry with a broad geographic footprint. And the big infrastructure bill is going to mean a lot of concrete and a lot of asphalt are going to be laid. And by the way, you got to lay asphalt all the time because you see the roads. They definitely need maintenance. And so that's just recurring revenue as that stuff needs to continue to be mined. And oh, by the way, there's a limit to that. You know, we have people who get really excited about limited supply. There's a limited supply of what's called aggregates which is this material that goes into the concrete and the asphalt. So the, that price has been going up steadily every year over the long term, like 5% a year. That's because we're running out of it. And so you know, what better place to be than an owner of a scarce resource that's running out and we haven't found a replacement for it? It's sad, but you know, at the same time, it's necessary for all of the infrastructure that we have been needing to build, have to maintain, and are trying to build for the future. Yeah, that, that's a great point. And what more foundational can a company be than something that's, you know, building, helping create asphalt and cement that we use for the basis of just about everything in the United States? As somebody, you mentioned about the roads being needing to be repaired as someone from the Midwest who knows that we have two seasons here, winter and construction. So we understand here very well what you're talking about. I agree. I was not familiar with the company prior to you telling me about it and reading about it. And I was blown away. You know that there's something like that exists, but you just never think about, you know, hey, this is something that I should invest in. And, you know, what kinds of, it's not exciting, you know? So it just doesn't really fall into the purview of what most people are going to talk about, about companies out there. And a company that can wisely put themselves in a position that will be close to where they're needed and like you said, you know, the biggest issue is going to be moving the product from point A to point B. And if they're already doing that, that just makes it so much easier for their customers. And if they're the market leader in such a, I guess, high construction, heavy duty kind of business, it's going to be really capital intensive for other people to come in and try to take market share from them. So they're going to have, like you said, a very, very wide moat because that's not something you know, you can go into meekly <laughs> and just kind of tip your toes in and see if this is something you want to do. If you're going to, if you want to take on a Martin Marietta, you're going to have to lay down a lot of cash to take them on. So it sounds like an amazing business. It's exactly right. What you're saying about can't tiptoe in if you're a competitor. One last thing that I think is very interesting, and it kind of ties back into the Microsoft thing. They've said that one of the biggest uses of the aggregates is actually constructing data centers. Huh. So we want to talk about what's been one of the greatest gra- growth drivers in the last three, four, five years, data centers for the cloud. Yeah, yeah. That's great for Martin Marietta. 